Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how you can use one automatically generated meet link in Google Classroom with multiple class periods at the same time. In a previous video we talked about how Google Meet and Google Classroom are now integrated and how you can create Google Meet links directly from within Classroom. The problem is this generates a unique code for each one of your class periods and displays it over here at the banner. Some teachers are opting to meet with multiple class periods at the same time, let's say periods one, two, and three. And so you want to be able to get this link out to all three periods at the same time. I want to show you a technique to be able to get all three of your periods in the same session. Here's what I would do. The first thing is turn this meet link on in only one of your classrooms and turn it off for the other periods. Let's say this is period one. I would turn it on for my period one students. And then for periods two, three, four, whichever one of the other ones I want to do, I'd go up to the settings gear. I'd come down here to the meet link. And for periods two, three, and four, etc., I would turn it off so it's not visible to students. So only one of my periods is going to see their visible link up in the banner. Then what I would do is go over to this link. Let's talk about the DNA here really quickly. This is going to take students to meet.google.com, and then it is going to have the students automatically look up this automatically generated nickname. So the nickname for this meet session is DJJ and all of this other stuff. What I want to do is I want to take this automatically generated link. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'm going to click on copy. Once I copy this link, I can now go paste it into periods two, three, and four, maybe as an announcement for students so that they can all join the same session. So again, this is on for period one. When I go back here to my period one dashboard, they will be able to see it over here in the banner. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to navigate over to period two. Here's period two. I have turned the meet link off. And instead, I'm going to go over here to share something with your class, and I'm going to share a quick announcement. So here's my announcement. To access today's Meet session, click this link. I can then go down and click the Add button, and I can add a link to that same code that is being used for period one. So here's the link for period one. I'm going to click add link, and now everybody in period two will be able to go to this link. So here's the one other thing I want to mention. Let's say I didn't want this just to go to period two. Let's say periods uh, two, three, and four all needed the same announcement. I don't have to generate it from scratch four times. I can go over here to the four field. Right now it's being posted to my sample class. Let's say it said period two. I could click this drop down. And I could also pick period three and period four. So I can assign this to multiple class periods at once if I want to. Create it once, select all the periods you want, and then click post. Once I click post, period two, when they come into Google Classroom, they will not see the link over here. They will see it in the stream in this announcement section. And when they click this link over here in the stream, and period one clicks it in their banner up at the top, since it's the same link, they will be in the same meet session together.